fathers, mothers, sons, daughters, gliding down the toward walk of ice cream cones, creating the kind of picture that frames a model for George. Who are here? That's Walt, that boardwalk. Yeah, they don't call it a comeback. It's what? Been here forever. It's what? Been here forever. Been here for years. Lady Liberty is still here and resides powerfully over Liberty State Park. Grandfathers and grandmothers, war heroes and patriots, share the history of France's endowment to recognize this land of the free and home of the brave that we call America. What a testament to our state. The post-Hurricane Sandy renovations of four and a half million dollars is no comeback. It's what? Been here, Been here for years. <laughs> Along the Delaware River occupying Camden, New Jersey, is one of history's legendary battleships. You know, in my work for NFL films, the stage maybe said something like this. Launched in 1942, the U.S. Navy's most decorated vessel and one of the Garden State's most prominent museums rests along the Delaware River. One of the largest battleships ever built, it remains one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. But don't call it a comeback. It's been here. For years. It's been here for what? Years. It's been here for what? Years. Yeah. Let us turn to another beach town. Down at Asbury Park, we're servers and, yeah, we're servers and swimmers, fishers, sunbathers and people watchers gather to take in the nostalgia of a beach and boardwalk past and present while witnessing the resilience of a small town as it shrugs off the post-Hurricane Sandy ravages. And still, it remains here. For years. For years. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call it a comeback, it's what? For years. For years. <laughs> New Jersey is by far, I love it, I love it, I love it. New Jersey is by far the most interesting state, says writer Peter Genovese in his 2018 article for NewJersey.com. Not prettiest, uh, not best, not most livable, but just most damn interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, I couldn't concur more, and yet I think New Jersey is, is more interesting because of what it will be. And I want to test and challenge your ability to see that this afternoon. You know, as I strolled down the best of boardwalk this summer in the midnight hour, I saw the faces of those who had counted Atlantic City out, who said never again, who said it's time past. I saw their eyes replete with regret. There's millions of tourists wave goodbye from the sailboats on the ocean, from the new electric motor cars that like Lyft and Uber picked up gamblers and revelers from their boardwalk destinations in route to those same locations of their choice. Close your eyes. Take that in for just a second. In the midnight hour, I saw Ocean City, Gloucester City, Union City, and Jersey City fully embrace the vast cultural, artistic, and economic bandwidth of true cities, each offering its own unique attribute, unparalleled and unprecedented in this nation. From the restaurants that restaurateurs said were too impossible to implement, from the parks and exhibits that history is yet to fully unveil, from the galvanizing social experiments that bring people together yet to be seen in the modern era. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Jersey's newest cities. It's new tourist destinations. Don't call it a comeback. It's what? In your <coughs> Making sure you're awake. In the midnight hour, movie theaters and community theaters, museums and landmarks, vacation homes and second homes began blooming from the seeds of visionaries like yourselves here in New Jersey. Here in New Jersey, small towns and forgotten towns. In the midnight hour suburbs and exurbs welcomed in a 21st century makeover of blended communities where new iconic shops like White House Subs. Anybody ever been there? White House Subs? Oh yeah. Open up and playgrounds are named after New Jersey pioneers. <coughs> where neighbors share in creating dazzling displays that commemorate Halloween and Christmas. Where police officers play curbside with children. But these are the communities where, like Cincinnati, Ohio, where I recently visited, 
Tour buses will pass through multiple times a day. Can you see that vision? This is the greater New Jersey, ladies and gentlemen, of the near and present future. Can you see it? Yeah. I don't believe you. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. 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 Keep seeing it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be complacent. Don't let your winnings in this casino and others blind you to what this casino and others can be and still be for tourists and residents alike. Keep seeing it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be complacent. Don't let the sunlit beach sand of this city and Ocean City, Cape May and Wildwood, massage your feet so that you can't walk ahead to the sand on the other side of those beaches where the Atlantic Ocean awaits your footsteps. Oh, keep seeing it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be complacent. Don't let its historic towns pin you down to only one history book here in New Jersey. Seek and ye shall find. That is the towns waiting in the dark, waiting to be discovered and written into the new history books of New Jersey. Keep seeing it, ladies and gentlemen, don't be complacent. Don't let its theme parks and amusement parks dizzy you into serving up the playgrounds of your youth. Offer your children new chills and thrills, adventure and wonder. Keep seeing it, ladies and gentlemen, don't be complacent. You've grown weary of the places you've been, the places you've told visitors to go. Be the engine in your offices, in your homes, in your communities. To usher in the places that you've never been. To the places where visitors must go. Keep saying it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be complacent. This great state of more than 9 million people, from the Victorian <coughs> seaside topography of Cape May to the public al fresco scenery of Montague Township up north. Let's make this state from south to north, east to west, more than just interesting. In the words of the late, great Muhammad Ali, I must be pretty. I must be the greatest. Let's shake out the world. Don't call it a comeback at once. Here it is. Here it is. You know, throughout this conference, you'll be reminded of how potent New Jersey's tourism numbers are, reported increases in revenues and tourists each of the last seven years, I believe. And I believe that one of the more surprising realities is that it isn't the Jersey Shore traffic jams of the summer that is the greatest contributor to our tourism revenue. Instead, it's the historical landmarks, the wineries, the breweries, the distilleries. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. 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 That account for the chunk of this revenue, and that, that's according to the state's economic impact of tourism report. Beyond the numbers and reports, what does tourism really look like in present-day New Jersey? Is it the following? Sir, can you tell me where the casinos are as he stands in front of one on board? Well, from the point where you're standing, sir, walk up the boardwalk and take your pay. Understand the question, and <laughs> these are the kinds of questions that we must happily embrace from our tourists. About a little world perspective, Adriana Trigiani, wherever you may be, you're about to be born. Italy, she says, despite its earthiness and charm, can never be New Jersey. She adds, in New Jersey, we value evolution and change. Italy, while it warms the heart, is a monument to the past. No comments about our state. How about some wisdom for our beloved tourists? You won't starve visiting the Garden State. There are more than 600, uh, there are over 600 diners here in the state with most open 24 hours. Wow, wow, oh wow, wow. <laughs> so much more than a convenience store. How many of you, how many of you know people from non-Mid-Atlantic states who had the Wawa experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in New Jersey, to accompany the National Guard, we have over 200,000 deer. Just to ensure that you're <laughs> well, just to ensure that you are wide awake when you drive. <laughs> you know, my work as an actor, and voice actor, and singer, I've been to roughly 35 of the nation's 50 states, and I'm always amazed to hear. So you're from New Jersey. <laughs> I'm sure many of you have heard our alternative name. There's a little NASCAR in New Jersey. Oh yeah. Ask my wife, who I call Shaking Baby. Ask, 
after the duo of Will Farrell and John C. Riley in that, that terrific movie, Talladega Nights. <laughs> Let's just say make driving quite eventful. You know, in visiting our great state, you have to know how to navigate a jug hand. Going under 85, best to get in the left hand lane. <laughs> Don't dare go past 25 in your neighborhoods, and that includes those neighborhoods in the future that I talked about earlier. Don't Jersey Vermont. Anybody ever hear that term? No. Well, okay. Legend or truth has it that on some campus somewhere in Vermont was the phrase, Don't Jersey Vermont. <laughs> 